Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser and I am over here. I'm Johnny B and I'm over here, but together we are Modeling, Modeling for Advantage. advantage. <laughs> Well, mate, here we are. Combined arms right. from the from the top, mate. Right from, from the, the beginning. Top. Set up the game, you know. Oosh. Set up the game. Set up. Follow these steps. It says. Step one. one. Choose a map from those available. Place the map in the center of the playing area. Oh. Two. Place the orders board and operations board within easy reach. Oh. Shuffle the initiative cards together. Did you want to shuffle the initiative cards together, John? Oh, we have removed the victory at scene ones because we're playing crawl seeds. Yes. But we have left in the strategic map ones as well because we're going to blended play. That's the intention. We are going to play some of the battles on the tabletop and some of them on the operational level just so that we don't get bogged down in a million games of Blood Red Skies, mostly, yes. I think. Because um, in our testers, there's been a lot of them. Uh, place the objective cards random side up in a row next to the map so the players can read them, which has already been done. All right, so form the resolution deck as follows. Place the five victory cards which correspond to the objective cards onto the resolution deck space of the operations board. Because you get 10 of these, because these things are double-sided. Yes. Yeah, so we've discarded the five that are not in use. Goodbye. We've worked out which five are. And so this is going to be resolution turn six, effectively, unless there's something really weird, because we take the other resolution cards, shuffle them. Give them a shuffle. And then count out five and put them on top. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we're starting with an in-game effect, John. Let's just count. I've got five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. It's rain. Difficult terrain. Units may not move an additional hex using blitz tokens. Rain. That's in effect from the start of the game. Okay. Start with a random player. Take turns in placing the grey objectives. Random player. Random player. And randomly three. That's a, a winner. Proprietary dice from Firestorm Games there, James, Ooh, uh, John. Uh, James, in, how very dare you. In, in Cardiff, sir. I went there on my 40th birthday. Uh, okay. I'm going to... So you're going to pick one of these, pick place it on the board, within board. certain requirements. Let's have a communication complex right here. Uh, now, now, John. Ah, this is wiggly a, lines. This wiggly line denotes that this is a land hex. This type of wiggly line denotes it's a sea hex. So that's one of those things that's worth, yes. worth being think, aware what of. What the hell are yeah. we like, post... Perhaps this is shallow water and this yeah. is rough water. It's making it like, clear. If it's got both terrain there. types on the hex, it tells you which one it is. Uh, so I'm going to pick one next. I am going to pick the observation post. Ooh. And I'm going to... Why am I going to do that? I'm just doing that because it's nearest. Yes. I'm going to get you commercial, commercial hub commercial in Paris, hub. mate. Just because I'm, you know, I'm a role player. Boom. Um, I think we could do with a factory. The factory. A coastal factory, no doubt. Uh, uh, the river mouth. A co yeah, okay. The factory there. And it obeys the rules that it is not within two, and it's not adjacent to the board. It can't be within two, so you're okay. Sweet. Um, the okay. fortifications. <gasps> I think we should build some fortifications. Uh, oh, I'd like to do it along the railway line. But but we're, we're going to miss out on this half of the board, aren't we? Maybe fortifications, observation post. These don't really matter. I'm going to paste the fortifications at the end there. Okay. And then we should have an observation post. Mm. So you're not allowed to place one uh, uh, with a, an adjacent adjacent to a starting hex or within two hexes of another objective. Okay. Which is it, which is limited. So John, I can't really put anything up here. I cannot put anything in my start. This little river section here. There we go. We'll have an observation post there. An observation post. So we've got all the kind of heavy industry on the front line and all of the yeah, bizarre. Yeah, 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 mate. So once well, they've made out. it through, <laughs> we can let everyone know. Absolutely. Deep defences, deep defences. Deep defences. All right, so that's the um, the uh, basic setup thing. So now we're going to decide who will be the island and axis, but we've already done that bit. Yes, because you're Brits. You're British and I'm German. You'll start with the Allied deployment zone and I'll start in the Axis deployment zone. Whoop, whoop. Well, D6, the highest gets the initiative counter. That's a two and a Ooh. two. Reroll it. 
Reroll. Five. Five, five and five. Come on, man. Three. Six. Six. Oh, the rolling on this board isn't working well, is it? We're no. going to have to do a bit of rethinking on that. This was... We'll have to get a tray. Here. The, yeah, the river. There we go. Yep. Okay. Uh, so you have... Who won that? You did. I did. So I have the initiative button, which is great. Um, starting with the player with initiative, can I choose a unit from your supply? So we have three units of each of the types. Yes. Um, and there's units that are in play, and there's units that can be brought into play, but you can never have more than three of any one type, for example. Um, so I'm going to start with a nice easy one. There's only one location I can place a navy, so I'm going to place a navy. <laughs> you call that a navy? <laughs> this is a navy. That is a navy. And it will go there. Oh. You, know, you, know, you can actually place navies. Oh, no, you can't. No, I've got the shaded bit. You've got the shaded bit. You're over there. Shade. All right. shade. Well, uh, now I am going to place an infantryman over here. Mm. I feel place. Uh, let's get some mechanized in there for so by, fun. By putting the mechanized in the sea, they're in transport. They are yes. Transports are free, but incredibly vulnerable in this game. Extremely, extremely vulnerable. Uh, so this is my third unit. I will place another infantryman here. Mm, okay. Let's do some infantry. Boop. Uh, boop. That's three. For number four, I will take an armoured unit boop. over here. Facing is irrelevant in this game. How many do we get? Six. Six! That's we loads. Know. Boop. Hmm. I will place a... So, I will take an aeroplane okay. for my fifth unit. Boop! <laughs> fifth infantry! Fifth infantry. Well, third infantryman. And I will take a second armoured unit for my third one. Right, so my last pick is going to be a plane, which Your casually lives a plane. Yeah. off of Planes the are table. off the table. All right, so we complete that. Sample player initially placed them. Oh, actually, we should have separated that out, it seems. We choose. Yes. In turn, and then we deploy in turn. Oh, okay. But, but you know. But it's the same, right? Um, now take a random opening gambit card and complete what it says on the text. Opening gambits. Do, do, do. So uh, these, are the, these are the cards. There's only a handful of them, but they make each game just a tiny bit different. And today's opening gambit is... Prepared. Each player draws three initiative cards. Remove this card from the game. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Uh, That's handy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they're all still a bit sticky. They're still fresh out the pack. So... Hopefully that's three. Ooh. Okay. And these do various things. They do. They do. They're, that's cool. Right. Okay. Um, I think that completes the opening phase. We've completed the setup, John. Oosh. What do you think? Are you confident? No. No. But we can do it. But we can do it. All right. We'll back back in the future with round one. Boom. Boom. If you're enjoying our coverage of Combined Arms or the battle reports associated with the campaign that we've been playing, why don't you consider buying a system from us at modelingforadvantage.co.uk? Thank you.